We want to get to KCAL 9's Rick Montanez, who is live in Hollywood with a look at the legacy she leaves behind, Rick. And Leslie, also her husband, Clarence Avant, he is a giant in the music industry, just inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame a few months ago. And five years ago, Jacqueline was with him here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame when his star was unveiled. Tonight, the music and entertainment industry is mourning her death. Married for more than five decades, Clarence and Jacqueline, or Jackie Avant, were a powerful couple and they were known for using that power for good. And what they've done for the communities and just for, for their philanthropy and just their goodness, you wonder how did this happen to the Godfather? Are any of us safe? Donna Dimely is a photographer, often capturing celebrities. She says she's heartbroken over Jackie's murder. She photographed the Avons over the years and says they were unlike anyone else in Hollywood. His aura spoke for him. He didn't. He, he could say everything without saying a word. Clarence Avant is known as the godfather of black music, a record label executive, former talent manager, and radio broadcaster. He rose to musical success, helping manage and strike deals for black artists in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> In 2016, he received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame near Hollywood Boulevard and Cosmo Street. Thank my daughter, thank my wife, thank all of you. There by his side, you know, his wife and grown like children. Their daughter, Nicole, is married to the CEO of Netflix. In 2019, she produced the documentary, The Black Godfather. And I thought, who is this guy? And then one day, I guess he was really trying to get to get win me over. Jackie and sharing how Clarence bragged day. about what he paid to the IRS just to impress her. The couple's legacy of philanthropy and kindness is one their colleagues hope will carry on as the Avant family mourns the murder of their matriarch. You know, we can't ever stop being kind. And over the years, Jackie was also involved in philanthropy work in Watts. And as we mentioned, she worked as, or she sat on the board of directors, I should say, at UCLA's International Student Center. We're live in Hollywood. Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. And the tributes have been pouring in all day. Magic Johnson tweeted, Jackie was the sweetest person you could ever meet. She had a beautiful soul, kind heart, and always had a kind word for everybody. This is the saddest day of our lives. Former President Bill Clinton added, she inspired admiration, respect, and affection in everyone who knew her. We are heartbroken. She will be deeply missed. And be sure to stay with KCO 9 for continuing coverage on the investigation into the deadly home invasion. You can always find the latest information on our CBS LA app.